G'day, I'm James, and here's a little mathematical mystery. It's all about loops. I'll draw a loop on the page, a nice smooth curve that can intersect through itself and do something like that. There's a lovely loop. And I'd like you to draw a loop as well. Now you might be tempted to draw a loop like this, which would be crazy and fun, I admit that's fun, but that might be a bit hard to analyze. So you want to draw a loop like that, feel free, get it out of your system, but then in the end so you can actually see what's going on, I suggest take a steady hand and draw a nice, smooth, steady loop like this with very clear intersections, crossing itself through these intersection points, making all these spaces and regions and something like that. There's a crazy one, there's a big one. All right, all right, so when you get yourself a nice smooth loop that's easy to look at, you can probably do some math with it. I mean, people say math is everywhere. I don't even know what that means, but I know there's certainly math in these pictures. For example, we can certainly count things. For example, my first picture, I can count the number of loops I drew, which is not very exciting because that was just one loop. But there are other things I can count. For example, we did have these intersection points. I could count these intersection points. In this case, I see there's three intersection points. So intersections here is three. And anything else I could count? Um, well, you look at that and say, well, there's other of these spaces. There's a space there, and there's a space there, and a space there, and a space there. I guess there's the big outside space as well, but that's, that's big and huge. But there's certainly four uh, closed finite spaces. So let's just count the closed spaces. Closed spaces, there's four of them. Great, we're just counting stuff. Oh, this is a more complicated one. Okay, the number of loops is still one. That's true, there's always one loop. Uh, number of intersections, here goes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Any more? Did I get them all? I think that's it. Intersections is ten. And let's count those spaces. Spaces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, number of spaces is eleven. I think I did them all. Yes, eleven. All right, let me do another one. I'll squeeze one in between the two. Let me do something crazy like this. I'll make this like this wiggle shape. Here's a wiggle shape. I'll come up like this. Then I'll come, oh, and I'll be a little bit strange to do a wiggle thing like that and close like that. There, there's a crazy one. All right, again, the number of loops is one. That was one loop. Uh, intersections, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that it? Uh, nope, one more, twelve. Intersections is twelve. Intersections is twelve. Okay. Do you have any prediction for the number of spaces? Before I count them, do you see any pattern to the number so far? Okay, I'm gonna count them, here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 spaces. All right, all right, I'm starting to notice something about these numbers right now, because look at this, look at this. One loop, three intersections, four spaces. If I make this like a little summation, one plus three equals four. One loop, 10 intersections, 11 spaces. If I make this a little summation, one plus 10 is 11. If I make this a summation, uh, one loop plus 12 intersections gives 13 spaces. Whoa, whoa. It looks like loops plus intersections equals the number of spaces. There is my conjecture, there is my theory. Now here's the thing, I'm wondering if that's actually true. Is that true for every possible picture of a loop you can draw, if you count the intersections and count the spaces? Does the number of loops, I guess always one, plus the number of intersections equal the number of spaces? Or was I, James, being sneaky, just happened to choose three examples right here that just by luck, by coincidence, happened to work? All right, so give this a try yourself. Draw some nice loops for yourself and check this theory. Does loops plus intersections equal spaces? Give it a go. Do you know what? You can find examples where our theory breaks down. For example, try this one. I'll come down and start drawing my loop. I'll make a very simple intersection point. There's a nice standard intersection point. But let me do something sneaky and go through that intersection point again. Make it a multiple intersection point. More than once it went through there. But let me keep going. I guess there's a standard intersection point right now and I'll just come back to the end. All right, so this one has a multiple intersection point 
and I guess what I'll call a standard intersection point, a straightforward one. All right, but look at it. Look at our theory. Number of loops. Yes, there was still one loop. Number of intersection points is two. And look at the number of spaces we've got. One, two, three, four. The number of spaces is four. And I'm afraid one plus two doesn't equal four. Our theory broke down. So I have a feeling the trouble with our theory is these multiple intersection points. So maybe if we avoid multiple intersection points, keep all the intersection points simple, just two lines that go through the same point, simple intersection points, maybe our theory is still true. So here's my revised theory. Uh, L plus I equals S as long as all the intersection points. All right, what do I call it? Uh, straightforward. Straight forward. That is, they look like one line comes in and another line comes in and that's it. Only two lines cross at an intersection point. If I've got straightforward intersection points, I have a feeling our theory is true. Okay, let's see if we can now explain our theory. Why would it be true? Why do I think it's true? All right, well, pause. I'll, I'll pause here. If you want to think about yourself some more, feel free to pause with me and I'm going to come back and tell you how my brain works to explain this. Okay, let me now share with you how my brain was thinking about this problem. I'm sure your fabulous brains came up with brilliant ideas as well, but let me just share with you what's in my head at the moment. So we've got this theory about if I draw a loop and I make nice simple intersections, the same connection between the, nu the number of loops plus the number of intersections equals the number of spaces. So we're going to count loops, intersections, and spaces. I will do that. I've got the number of loops, the number of intersections, and the number of spaces, and I will draw a picture. But right now, I've drawn nothing. So what you're seeing right now is no loops. There are no loops to see. There are no intersections, and there are no spaces. There's nothing in my picture right now. But let's keep track of these counts as we go along drawing my picture. Here it goes. I'll start my picture like this. Great, great, great. I'm on my way to make a loop, but I haven't yet made the loop. I've not yet made any intersections. I've yet not, made, not yet made any spaces. But let me keep going and make this loop come back round and make an intersection. Number of intersections up by one. But look, as soon as I made an intersection, I closed off a space. The number of spaces went up by one. Whoa, let me do it again. Keep my loop going. I've not yet finished my loop, but I'm going to make another intersection. And as soon as I make an intersection, I close off a space. So up one for intersections, another intersection, closed off another space. I made another space. Now let me keep going. I'll go over here and oh, now I made an intersection. And look, I made an intersection, but also closed off a space. I made an extra space. I'm going to keep going. In fact, this one's interesting. Right now I've got one space, but look what happens. I'm going to split that space. <gasps> into two. So I made an extra intersection, but I took one space and made it into two. I've got an extra space again. Every intersection I make makes a space. Whoa! In fact, let me just keep going. I'll finish off my picture now and I'll close it off and... Oh, oh, I'm not making an intersection this time. As soon as I finish my picture, I'm finally making a loop. Made a loop, but look, it also closed off a space. It also closed off a space. So look what happened. Every time I made an intersection, I made a space. Intersection, space. Intersection, space. Intersection, space. Until I got to the very end that my loop then made a space. And look what we've got. One loop, four intersections, and four plus one spaces, which makes perfectly good sense now. Every intersection matches a space. Also, the loop matches a space. Oh, the number of loops plus the number of intersections is indeed the number of spaces. The theory must be true. Whoa, whoa, this is lovely. Doesn't matter what picture you draw, as long as you keep your intersections very nice, that's, this theory is always going to be working. It's amazing, no matter what picture you drew. If you did drew that crazy one, as long as all the intersections were nice, I bet your one loop plus the number of intersections in your crazy picture still equals the number of spaces. This is inescapable. You cannot escape this theory. Oh, you love it. But of course, every question answered is an invitation for more questions. My brain's now coming up with more questions. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment.
Okay, so here's a question that comes to my mind. Every picture we've drawn so far had the number of loops being one. There was always one loop. What if I did more than one loop? What if I did, say, two loops, or three loops, or 19 loops? Well, let's give it a try. First of all, I'm going to be very kind to myself. Let me draw a simple picture of two loops. There's one very simple loop, and there's a second very simple loop. Great. So in this picture, the number of loops is two. Here I have one, two intersections. The number of intersections is two. And the number of spaces is one, two, three. Hmm, the number of spaces is three. Two plus two is not three. Hmm, that's worrisome. Um, so actually, actually, let me just keep playing with small examples. I mean, I did two loops that were intersecting. What if I kept the two loops se separate? One loop there, one loop there. Again, there's two loops, just keeping it very simple, trying to be very kind to myself. Number of intersections is zero, so zero intersections, and the number of spaces I see are one, two. Well, two plus zero does equal two. The theory's working there. Okay, so the theory did not work there, but it did work there. So what's the difference between those two pictures? Well, actually, actually, I can see one thing that comes was very different. This picture is in one piece, and this picture is in two different pieces. So maybe we should also be counting the number of pieces. For example, the number of pieces this picture comes in one piece. This picture comes in two pieces. All right, so let's just count everything. Um, okay, let me try drawing another picture. I think my pen's running out. I'll do this one in green. So I'll draw a bit of a complicated loop this time. One loop. Here's a second loop. Whoa, two loops. And I'll be kind of myself and do a third loop that's separate. All right. So the number of pieces is two pieces. There are two pieces here. The number of loops I drew were three of them. There are three loops. Now, number of intersections. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? Six intersections. And the number of spaces I see is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Huh. Is anything emerging now? Anything going on here? Do I see any patterns? Um, okay, feel free to pause the video and see if you can start making some conjectures here. But I think I'm noticing something. It could just be coincidence, but I think I'm noticing something. Have a pause, see if you notice something too. All right, all right, so what have we got here? Look at this, look at this. I see a two there and a six there and an eight there. It looks like the number of pieces plus the number of intersections gives me eight spaces. And that happens to be working here. Pieces plus intersections equals spaces. Two plus zero is two. Pieces plus intersections equals spaces. P at one plus two equals three. I'm wondering if the true theory is this. It's not loops plus intersections equals spaces. I think it's pieces plus intersections equals spaces. I'm wondering if that's now true. And the reason we didn't notice that before, because when we're only drawing one loop, we only ever had one piece. These were the same numbers before. Maybe this is the more general theory that this is the true thing that's going on. Whoa, whoa. So here's my question to you. Is this the true general theory? The number of pieces plus the number of intersections always equals the number of spaces. Draw some loops. Doesn't matter how many loops you draw, it's the number of pieces you get in the end that counts. That would be mind-blowing. Is that what's going on? That's worth investigating.